What's up guys, Frankie Dingleberry here. A couple years ago I made a video about how Bandicam was the best way to record games on your PC, especially if you had lower end hardware. And fortunately that video got quite popular, it's at about 30,000 views, so it seems like people really want to know what is the best way to record games on their computers. And although it's like 30,000 views, uh, there is quite a bit of dislikes and uh, people enjoy making fun of how I look in that video and uh, I mean I can't blame them, I did look like a fucking moron. <laughs> And the video is pretty unprofessional, the quality looked like it was the inside of a horse's asshole, and I didn't give any real indication as to why Bandicam was better. I didn't test a massive recording programs and compare the results, I just kind of said like, here's XSplit, and here's Bandicam, and here's why Bandicam is better. So yeah, I can kind of see why a lot of people dislike that video. But it is two years later and my equipment is a lot better, so I figured I'd go back and retest. But this time around I'm going to be comparing actual benchmarks between six different recording platforms that you could use on the PC. And the programs that we are going to compare is going to be Bandicam, of course, um, Windows Game DVR, which is built into Windows 10 for free, um, AMD Relive, MSI Afterburner, Action Marillus, or Marillus Action, whatever you call it, and um, OBS. But unfortunately, I don't have an NVIDIA GPU anymore, so I can't test Shadowplay amongst all these results. But just pay attention to AMD Relive, because they pretty much perform the same, although Shadowplay is a bit better because it is um, a better tuned program, because it is older. So just pay attention to Relive, and you'll get a good reference for the kind of performance that you will be getting with Shadowplay. And so for today's testing, we are going to be doing Black Ops 3 at 1080p with anti-aliasing off, um, motion blur off, but everything else on medium. And I'm going with medium because it allows for a lot higher of an FPS average, but it doesn't completely offload all the work to the CPU. So this will give a more accurate average, and it'll show the differences between the program's performance in a lot bigger of a picture, so you'll get a better idea of what kind of performance to expect. So I'll play you about a minute's worth of gameplay showing all of the different programs and how they perform as well as the average frame rate that they all give you during that benchmark run. And after that I'll show you guys a graph with all the information of all the minimums, the averages, and the maximum frame rates of all the programs side by side so you can clearly see which one is better than the other. So yeah, without further ado, if you're this far into the video, please leave me a like and a subscribe if you want to see more PC stuff, but here's that gameplay. So yeah, there you have it. And uh, just like I said before, here's the graph showing all the data that I got from testing all these different programs. What's interesting to me is that Windows Game DVR actually beat AMD Relive, which is honestly what I thought was going to win. So yeah, if you happen to have Windows 10, you already got Game DVR built in, so just go ahead and use that, because it obviously performs really well. My only issue with it is that it has the most bullshit settings on it, because you can't change anything. You can't manually change the resolution. I mean, you can change the frame rate, but otherwise you have to go with these templates of standard quality and high quality, but that's literally all you can do. And of course, AMD Relive and uh, NVIDIA Shadowplay I would always recommend for local recording. And OBS, even though it's in third, it personally comes in first for me because you just have a shit ton of settings that you can screw with. Like, there is so much customization possible that you can have OBS perform exactly how you need it to and how you want it to. Just don't forget to change your encoder settings to your AMD GPU or NVENC using an NVIDIA GPU because you want that hardware acceleration because otherwise it just defaults to the CPU. And unless you have an i7 or something crazy, you're gonna get shit performance. And yeah, Action Marillus and Bandicam, I guess they are okay, but I wouldn't recommend them, especially when you have these other options that are just vastly superior. 
And MSI Afterburner I just kind of threw in there as a control because I knew it was going to perform like shit because its primary function isn't to record games. I mean, it's meant to overclock your GPU, so it's not built specifically for recording your games, but it was interesting to see how crappy it performed, and I wouldn't recommend it. Just use it to overclock your GPUs and stick to OBS. But yeah, if you like this video, then please leave me a like because I love seeing likes on my videos. It keeps me motivated to make videos, and subscribe if you aren't already to see more PC tech related content, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what recording program that you use for recording gameplays. Until next time, peace trout YouTube.